I've got a bit of a problem. My elbow hurts, my wrist hurts, my heart hurts. And I'm the keyboard guy. I've tried over 200 keyboards. So what's my solution when I've got random body aches? How can I solve it with keyboards? Yeah. Now, my first thought was, huh, maybe it's my keyboard causing the issue. So I thought of a bit of a challenge. I'm gonna try using only ergonomic keyboards for the next seven days. Now, what are ergonomic keyboards? Well, I'm gonna be using this. Bruh. I'm worried. I'm worried. How am I gonna send emails? But not only that, I'll also be trying some other ergonomic keyboards ranging from this to this, all in hopes to maybe see if ergonomic keyboards actually make my life a little bit better. Bruh. Started to make my fingers hurt. What the hell is going on here? This one's rough. Plastic. Nope, that's it. A new record, let's go. Okay, so for day one, I'm gonna start with the cheapest keyboard. This is the Ergo Docs Hot Docs? Wait, Hot Docs? Howdy, hey. Now, the Ergodox is a very interesting board. It's one of the cheapest that I'm looking at today. However, it starts at 189 US dollars. Let me just check real fast how much that is. Really expensive. It was sent to me for free by Kono Store like six months ago, so I literally have no idea what's going on with it. Now, as I unbox this, let me set the stage for the challenge. What are ergonomic keyboards? Well, ergonomic keyboards are keyboards that are specifically designed with reducing muscle strain and kind of making it so if you're typing all day, your life is better. Now, I am by no means an ergonomic expert, and I did literally no ergonomic research for this video. Just so you know, this is just my experience, not some type of information piece. Now, you see this keyboard, and you're probably like, wait, it's in two pieces. And yeah, that brings us to our first points, our first impressions. Now, my first impressions of the board are what the hell is going on here? This does not look like any keyboard I've ever seen. Nola, can you not bite my stethoscope, please? Now for day one, my goals were just to kind of get settled with this thing. Try it out, do some typing tests, see if I can kind of get used to using an ergonomic keyboard. I know for a keyboard like this, it typically takes weeks or months to get used to, so doing it in a day is going to be really hard. You're also probably wondering, if you only have three keyboards, how are you going to use them for a week? Well, my first goal here is to figure out which one I like the best, and then use that for the rest of the week. So it's a bit of mystery for me as well. I'm looking at this thing, and I can see QWERTY, I can see the basic layout, but I think today is going to be really, really rough. What do you think? Is it going to be rough? Why are you, why are you biting me? Huh? Why are you biting me? Thank you. Now, to get the keyboard working, all you have to do is plug it into itself, which is easy enough, and then plug it in to your computer. I mean, technically I can type with it. Let me just, let me go ahead. Uh, it's not pressing buttons, it's pressing hotkeys. Oh gosh, this one's rough. This one's really rough. It doesn't feel like any keyboard I've ever used before. And that is an initial barrier that makes it incredibly tough. But it was time for my very first typing test on an ergonomic keyboard. How fast was I gonna type? God. Uh, I typically type a hundred words per minute. 13 words per minute, baby. <laughs> So obviously something wasn't working, so I decided to customize the software and the layout quite a lot. I then spent the better part of the hour doing a lot, a lot of typing tests. 14, baby, let's freaking go! But no matter what I did, I just couldn't seem to get used to typing on this thing. So I thought, maybe I'll swap out the switches because this board is hot swappable. So I swapped out all of the switches for some cookie doughs that I got from Dankeebs. And I'll have everything I use in this video linked down below. But ultimately, better switches did not really solve the problems that I was having here. And now a lot of people have a lot of time on their hands and time on their hands that they can use to learn a new keyboard layout. This one though, however, is definitely on the rougher side as far as the learning goes. Like it's got QWERTY, but nothing is where you think it is. It doesn't feel good to learn. Let's just say that. Now, is it ergonomic? I mean, I'm under the impression that something that you're used to and can have good typing posture at is the most ergonomic. This thing, however, I don't really know how to approach it. Like, it just doesn't feel natural to me, which is fine. It might feel natural to some people. I am by no means an ergonomic keyboard expert or ergonomics expert. But after a day of learning this thing, did it start to feel any better at all for me? 
As far as the typing feels go, I mean, my wrists don't feel that much more ergonomic, and honestly, the way I have to flex my fingers ends up hurting a little bit more. I'm just not excited about this thing. It also sounds... terrible. So far, this thing did not feel any better to use throughout the one day that my normal keyboard feels to use throughout the one day. And it's just sacrificing a lot. It's taking up a lot more desk space. I mean, like maybe I can keep my elbows at a slightly better distance if all I was doing is typing. This thing just kind of sucks. It's really not intuitive. It's really not user friendly. Some enthusiasts might super enjoy it, but I had to cut using this thing on day one. Nope, that's it. That's the final straw. I'm done. I, day one, I lost day one. Let's move on to day two. It's over. But please subscribe because I spent $35 on a doctor's outfit for this one bit. Please subscribe. Okay, so day two. Let's say day one, I got a little bit heated. We're not gonna talk about that. We're definitely not talking about the doctor's outfit or why I had that. Let's look at the cleave. Now, this is the second most expensive option. And originally I thought it was budget, but it was 250 US dollars. So I'm expecting a lot from this. This is an ergonomic keyboard that looks a little bit different. It's not split in half. And I'm hoping that it'll feel a little bit more familiar to me because I feel like the biggest barrier to entry for this challenge is actually enjoying using the keyboards. And so far we haven't had any enjoyment. So let's get it open. And the first impressions are, it, wait, did that just? They sent clicky switches in 2023. It was at this point that I realized that day two is going to be no easier than day one for me and that, oh god, there's going to be a day three. Are clicky switches more ergonomic? I guess they're tactile in a way, but these do not feel good. Listen to this. Does that sound ergonomic? That's fine. It's fine. Maybe the keyboard is going to be really good. Let's just give it a chance. I can't use my cable with it. That's out of the woods. Okay. It lights up. The fact that it lights up is kind of nice. I mean, honestly, in the hands, it feels okay. Like it's not, it doesn't feel terrible. But then if you told me that this was 250 bucks, I'd be like, wait, I got a Zoom 75 for 250 bucks and it sounds and looks like heaven. And this thing is plastic. This doesn't really feel premium. I mean, that brings us to the wrist rest. The wrist rests feel okay, if that's your type of thing. And this keyboard is overall, a lot more flat than I was expecting. Now, the feel of it is pretty terrible. Like typing on this thing does not feel nice. I should clarify that I'm talking about the switches here, not necessarily the ergonomics. We'll talk about that more in a second. These optical switches that it comes with just aren't that great. I mean, it's hot swappable. So I switched it out for some optical yellows on one switch and it's better. But ultimately for day two, my goals were number one, get work done. And then number two, just try and get a little bit more comfortable with this ergonomic typing style. Also, because I'm human, I needed to take breaks from work. But what if I need to work while taking breaks? Oh no. And because I'm human, I'm going to be playing video games like humans do. And I'm going to be trying Valorant. And do not make fun of how I sit or uh, no. So the WASD works. Um, I'm still really bad. Hey, I got one. There's nothing that's inherently terrible for gaming here. Like, it's fine. I'm not good, though. It doesn't feel comfortable. Now, after starting to use this thing for gaming, it was pretty clear that it wasn't making me better. And also that I hated the clicky switches. That's my preference, though. It's kind of making my wrist hurt more than normal. I Do I not have it, like, Amateur. positioned correctly? Do I need it, like, closer? Well, if I move it closer, then I've got literally... I have no space for my mouse. Yeah. Is it good for gaming? It's a keyboard. Like you can use it for gaming. Honestly, I felt like it was making my wrist hurt like a lot more than my normal keyboard would, which isn't really a pro. Maybe more mileage with it. Like started to make my fingers hurt quite a lot. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't know if it's cause it's so flat. Yeah, not, not great, but I, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. I'm, I'm two days in. 
and I'm already feeling like I can't make it a week. Like I've been using this thing for out most of the day and all I want to do is set it down, grab my other keyboard and use it instead. That's a bad sign. That's a pretty bad sign. Now, are there some merits to it? Sure. I think if you got used to this type of layout, it might be a little bit more efficient. Maybe the way that you can hold your wrists is just a little bit better. But honestly, to me, it's just not vibing. I think day two, I'm already feeling like I'm not gonna make it a week in this challenge, but let's go to day three, whatever. Day three, let's go. Now, with hating the outcomes of day one and two, day three is where I've put all of my eggs in my basket. I'm really relying on this keyboard carrying me through the week. For day three, I've got something a little bit more expensive, and by a little bit more expensive, I mean it comes in a briefcase. It's worth literally $700, but it could potentially be worth it. This is the Angry Meow. AFA, which stands for like Alice something, and holy cow, it's already on and it's beautiful. This one, I could maybe see myself using. It's gorgeous. It can wirelessly charge through the bottom, which is kind of insane. It's machined absolutely beautifully, like possibly one of the most beautiful keyboards I've ever seen, but it's ergonomic. It's ergonomic. This is what we call an Alice style layout or like technically Arasu because it's got arrow keys. This is the one that I'm the most familiar with when it comes to ergonomic keyboards. So this is the one I think I could possibly make it the longest on. Let's give it a shot. Now it is wireless and as you see, it comes fully built. The thing that makes this really the most unique is that it's got a leaf spring gasket in it that makes it so when you type on it, it has a really lovely bounce. And so far, <laughs> this is the only one that sounds or feels good to type on, which I know I picked the first two, but like, come on, come on, ergo people. What are we doing? What are we doing? Tell me, leave a comment, leave a comment. What's a better ergo board? All right, I'm open. I'm open to it. I know I seem like a hater, but maybe I could change. Now, this thing is definitely not perfectly easy to type on, but the layout feels the most familiar to something like a typical keyboard, right? It is huge, like a lot, bigger than my normal keyboard, my normal 75% keyboard, and it has less keys. So for that, I mean, it's not efficient. If you're playing games and stuff with it, you're gonna hit your mouse into the keyboard and it's gonna hurt because these sides are just like a little bit sharp. So for that, it wasn't that great. Now, I forgot to record my first typing test of the day on this thing, but as I went throughout the day, I could definitely feel myself starting to get a little bit better with it. Now, the other ergonomic keyboards that I used, I felt like really did nothing to help me here, but I do feel like this is the easiest layout to start to learn ergonomic typing on. And by the way, it sounds and feels absolutely incredible, but this is the result of typing after a whole entire day. Thirty-eight, a new record, let's go. Now, if I stuck with this thing, I definitely feel like I could get up to my normal typing pace, but it still does feel a bit weird. With the split layout, to me, it just feels like why? Like it might be more efficient or it might be slightly more ergonomic, but I don't know. It's just not connecting with me. I've been doing this for three days now and I feel like I feel like I can cut the challenge. It's just not doing a lot. My wrists still hurt a little bit more. Like this wrist hurts quite a bit. I don't know if it's because it's erased, or every keyboard's a little bit different. It's just not, it's not working. This wrist hurts because she keeps biting it is actually what it is. This keyboard is really, really cool. It's got a lot of really cool features, but it just can't save the ergonomic stuff for me. Like I don't get ergonomics. I don't get it. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do, do ergonomics make sense? Are you an ergonomic person? That's it. That's it for me. I'm ending the challenge early. Miss Fate. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't. Nola wants me to stay here though, so I can't stop recording. Let me just scooch my chair over. Uh, also, I was sick during making this video, so that's why it feels really jumbled. Uh, or if I'm grumpy, that's, yeah. Miss Fate.